Hello guys and welcome to Free Birds Crew. The question comes that how you optimize your machine learning algorithms. So let first of all decide that what actually optimization means. Okay, so the optimization means uh, we can maximize the performance metrics that is evaluation metrics of a machine learning model. Okay, so that means we need to optimize the model so that our uh, evaluation metrics should be as high as possible. Okay. So basically, I use these six techniques to optimize my machine learning algorithms. And the first technique is model parameter space, model paradigm space, hyperparameter space, model architecture space, feature space, and feature transformation space. Okay. By you using these kind of technique, you can make your model good, but not as per perfect. You can that you can get the hundred percent accuracy. You can achieve a maximum accuracy by utilizing these techniques efficiently. So let's understand each technique one by one. Okay, the first technique is uh, model parameter space. So this is a space where we optimize when we train model through the statistical learning. Okay, the parameters are learned using the optimization principles such as maximum likelihood estimation principle or gradient descent. Okay, that can be used in the linear regression. So whenever you are using the linear regression and you are updating the weights of the uh, beta 1 and beta 0. So in that way, you are actually uh, doing the data or doing the optimization in the model parameter space. Okay, so the next thing is model paradigm space. The model paradigm space actually deal with the selection of machine learning algorithms. So, okay, so, so the uh, traditional ML models like XGBoost, Random Forest, SVM, Logic Regression, these are focused on the feature engineering and interpretability. Okay, but if you have like large and complex data and you need to do the feature extraction and it is often the unstructured data as well and then you can use the deep learning algorithms there. Okay, so, so actually the choosing the right paradigm or choosing the right model for your problem is completely depend on the data type, problem complexity, interpretability required or not required and along with the computational resources. Okay, so that's your second optimization technique. And the third thing is hyperparameter space. So to set all the possible values of hyperparameters, which can control the model learning process, but are not directly learned from the data itself, we use the hyperparameter tuning, okay, to find the optimal uh, configuration of the hyperparameter that leads to the best model performance or the best model evaluation matrices okay we, we can use the various techniques like uh, uh, grid search cv random search cv cross validations as well to, to to prevent the model overfitting and underfitting as well okay so this is actually how you can do the hyperparameter tuning in the hyperparameter space okay so in the next technique we have the model architecture space so that's also optimization optimization technique but that technique is completely aligned with the deep learning only because in the deep learning you can actually structure your uh, neural network architecture. So the more complex architecture you have or the more simple ar architecture you have, this is also completely based on your problem. Okay, so you need to think that what kind of problem you want to uh, solve and what kind of uh, activation functions, what kind of uh, neural network that, that you can use to solve that problem. So in that way, you can optimize your neural network architecture here as well okay so the next space is feature space so feature space is actually a concept in the machine learning and statistics that deals with the high dimensional space where the data points are actually represented because if you have like uh, uh, n number of features for your machine learning model you can't build a model because you need to drill down those features to a small feature space that are actually significant for your machine learning model or completely dependent on your uh, target variable as well. So in that way, you can uh, build your machine learning model by se selecting the good features there. So that's the feature space thing. And next is feature transformation space. So feature transformation space means that you can to do some kind of pre-processing or data manipulation as well, feature extraction as well. So that all the kind of things that you can do on your features to generate new features as well, to they make the interactions as well, or to do the any kind of things on your features. So that's called feature transformation space. So you actually transform your uh, features here 
to make it better understandable by the machine learning model okay so now you know that all the optimization te techniques here but how actually they work they work in this kind of order so the first thing that you do is the feature transformation space and then you can select the features from the feature space and then you can select the machine learning model and then you you can do for the model space a, a model architecture space if you are using the deep learning model and then you can set the model parameters and if setting the model parameters optimize your machine learning model then then you go to the hyper parameter space if your model is not not performing that much well and then you go for the model training so in that order these optimization techniques actually works you can use like some of these techniques in your project some of the techniques you can't use based on the problem that you are trying to solve okay so i hope you completely guys understand about this uh, uh, machine learning optimization problems and all the types of techniques that you can use to optimize your machine learning algorithms or data science project if you want to know more you can also read my blogs on medium or watch my videos on prompt engineering generative ai and everything on the youtube i also started a 75 day hard challenge on generative ai so please don't forget to watch that series and learn learn about the generative ai from scratch same guys thank you we'll meet in our next video thank you so much